This is Akashwani Itanagar. The news read by Hage Ani. The 12th session of the 7th Arunachal Pradesh Legislative Assembly starts today. The session will have four sittings and will conclude on September 7th. The first day of the session started with obituary references in respect of three former members and ministers of the assembly, late Kardu Taipodia, late Neelam Taram, and late Cho Tewa Meen. Later, Legislative Assembly Speaker P.D. Sona announced the panel of chairmen for the session. Mr. Sona said that this session and all women legislators have been selected as panel of chairpersons. The women legislators are Jumum Erte Diori, Dasang Lupul, Chakat Abu and Sring Lamu. Three bills were introduced on the first day of the session. The three bills are the Arunachal Pradesh Airport Area Planning and Development Authority Bill 2023, the Arunachal Pradesh Court Fees Bill 2023 and the Arunachal Pradesh Goods and Services Tax Amendment Bill 2023. According to the state government, after the construction of the Holongi Donipolo Airport, a new chapter in the air communication in the state has been opened. And for the orderly planning and development of the state airport, there is a requirement of a dedicated team of manpower. Therefore, the Arunachal Pradesh Airport Area Planning and Development Authority Bill 2023 envisage constituting the Arunachal Airport Area Planning and Development Authority to oversee the development works to be carried out in the airport areas in the state. Speaking to a news agency, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has said that over the past nine years, the people of the country have given a decisive mandate which has led to a stable government, predictable policies and clarity in the overall direction. The reformation and growth in various sectors such as economy, education, finance, banks, digitalization, etc. is a result of a clear action-oriented roadmap of reform, perform, transform, the PM added. He also added that India will be a developed nation by 2047 where corruption, casteism and communalism will have no place. The holistic transformation of the state of Arunachal Pradesh from infrastructure to health and education is on the top priority of the central government, asserted Union Minister of State for Education, Dr. Subhas Sarkar. He said this while addressing media in Pasigad yesterday. He said there will be no effort left unturned by the central government to make Arunachal Pradesh one of the most progressive states in tune with the rapid transformation India has made in recent years under the central government led by the Prime Minister. Earlier, Union Minister of State for Education Dr. Subhash Sarkar, who is on a two-day visit to East Siang District, yesterday held a review meeting with HODs of various departments on the implementation of central government flagship schemes and the major achievements made by the respective departments. The Union Minister of State also met and interacted with beneficiaries of various central government schemes of East Siang District and took their feedbacks. The three-day Solung festival celebration of the Adi community concluded today. The festivity was celebrated at different Adi villages of East Siang and parts of Siang, Lower Siang and Lower Dibang Valley districts. For three consecutive nights, Solung mirrors or priests performed rituals and led women folk in narrating Solung Abang. During the celebration, the people sought Kune Nane's blessing for a good harvest and well-being of domestic beasts. President Draupadi Murmu today unveiled a 12-feet statue of the father of the nation, Mahatma Gandhi, and a Gandhi Vatika at Gandhi Darshan near Rajghat in New Delhi. To enhance visitor experience, a selfie point has been established within Gandhi Vatika. The Gandhi Vatika features multiple statues of Mahatma Gandhi depicting him in various postures. U.S. President Joe Biden will be on a visit to India from 7th to 10th of this month for bilateral meeting with Prime Minister Narendra Modi. He will also participate in a G20 summit. The U.S. President has said that he is looking forward to his trip to India this week. Special Secretary for G20 Operations Muktesh Pardeshi said extensive efforts have been made under India's G20 presidency to raise the voice of the Global South and seek positive support for the African Union to become a permanent member of the G20. That's all in this news bulletin. Namaskar.